joined by the newly elected Congresswoman-elect Julia Letlow for an exclusive live interview. Thank you for joining us, Congresswoman-elect Luke Le Letlow. Excuse me, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Well, first, obviously, just kind of tell us your initial reactions to winning the 5th Congressional District seat. Oh, it was a, a mixture of emotion, but mostly just uh, gratitude. Uh, it's just an absolute honor uh, to serve the amazing people that I've met uh, over the last year while campaigning with Luke and then during this campaign. Uh, wow, what an what a incredible honor to serve. Wow, that's awesome. Well, you are the first Congresswoman in Louisiana for the 5th Congressional District seat. What does this mean for you and other young and old women out there? <laughs> I am just so humbled by that. Uh, you know, when you think about uh, the demographics of the state, I think roughly 52% of the population is female. And so it's exciting for uh, me to go up as the first Republican uh, woman in the history of the state of Louisiana uh, to serve in Congress and have a seat at that table and represent uh, not only uh, the amazing women, but men in this uh, community and district. And then going off of that, I mean, how do you think being female in Congress will go? Do you think there will be struggles that you definitely will be able to handle? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I'm ready for the challenge. And, you know, I think that there, uh, we have this saying that every issue is a woman's issue. And uh, we definitely need a seat at the table and we add value and our voices uh, can, can actually help out. So I'm excited to serve. Well, that's so exciting. Um, I'm happy to see a female up there representing all of us. Like you mentioned, half of our state is female. So that's very that's exciting. That's right. Winning this fifth district seat is a big step for you and your family. What is next for you guys? Well, uh, so the election has to be certified by the state level, and then uh, we'll go up to Washington and have that uh, amazing swearing-in experience. And then I'll hit the ground running on day one. Uh, the staff is up there raring to go, and we're ready to bring results back to the 5th District. That's very exciting. And how do you think your kids, Jeremiah and Jacqueline, are going to react to being in Washington? They are young now, but I'm sure they're going to remember parts of it for sure. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I can only imagine what it's like to experience that as a child. Uh, you know, you'll see me uh, definitely in Washington, but also all throughout the district. Uh, you might see me with two little ducklings behind me, uh, but they're going to be better for this experience of watching their mom serve and be a part of it. Now, a lot of people may be wondering how you plan to balance being a congresswoman and a mother. What is your response to those remarks? You know, um, I think that there are plenty of working women uh, around the United States. Uh, so, you know, we, we just make it work. Uh, like I said, the, the children will be with me, uh, experiencing this right along beside me. And, uh, you know, we just get it done. Women are wonderful uh, examples of how to multitask. And uh, it's an exciting time and I'm ready to go. That's great. And now on to a little bit of a lighter note. We're all girls here, so we can talk about this. But are you getting a new fashionable wardrobe to walk the halls of Washington? We all like your fashionable pink, outfit yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wearing my pink today. I hear y'all are wearing pink as well. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I'm excited to do a little shopping. I definitely want to uh, represent the 5th District in style. So, uh, yes, I'm, I'm going to uh, make sure that that I get a few updates to the wardrobe. <laughs> I love the pink blazer, so I think you definitely need to wear that. <laughs> well, you used to work at ULM, so will you be miss working there? Are you going to miss uh, working with the people there and the students? Absolutely. Uh, gosh, there's nothing like uh, being in front of a classroom. Uh, I learn so much from students uh, all the time. So I'm definitely going to miss that. I'm going to miss my colleagues and the camaraderie and just what we were able to do in higher education. But I'm always going to be a champion for education. I believe in it wholeheartedly. Uh, I'll be able to uh, affect uh, change and, and help with our educational systems here in the 5th District. So uh, that will always have a place in my heart for sure. Awesome. What are you most excited about when you get to finally walk the halls of D.C.? I know this has been a long time coming. You've worked really hard along with your family. So what is that feeling of relief going to be like? Well, it is uh, it, on the campaign trail, it can be a bit stressful. So there is a feeling of relief uh, right now. But I'm so excited to serve truly and, and represent 
the amazing people that uh, I've met along the trail uh, in the fifth district. It's just an honor that they uh, would vote for me to be the representative. That's not something that I take lightly. Uh, so it's it's a it's an honoring, humbling experience. I'm excited to do it. And you are taking this seat after your husband Luke passed away from COVID-19. How does it feel knowing you are taking his seat and not only representing the fifth district here in Louisiana, but also his memory? Absolutely. You know, Luke spent 20 years of his life serving the state of Louisiana, cultivating relationships, teaching me uh, how one person can make a difference in government if their heart is in it for the right reasons and how important it is to give back and serve others. Uh, you know, so that has been uh, an amazing part of this process. It's been part of the healing process for me as I grieve Luke. Uh, but uh, wow, what an amazing honor to carry the torch uh, for my husband and continue to move forward. So I couldn't be more honored. That's awesome. It's uh, really cool to see that actually, and knowing that you get to uh, kind of do it for him, but also for our district here. Well, getting That's into right. the platform you ran on, what is the first thing you want to accomplish when you get to DC? Sure. So, you know, as I traversed the 24 parishes in this very large district in Louisiana, I listened to the constituents, and one of their main concerns is rural broadband. Uh, I don't even have it at my home out here in Start, Louisiana. And so uh, we really need uh, to have rural broadband throughout the 5th District. Uh, I want to champion that. We know that infrastructure is very important uh, and that bill is coming down. And so uh, I want to be a champion for our getting that, those, that funding, that crucial funding for our roads and bridges. Uh, but most importantly, rural broadband and nothing like a pandemic to bring to light how uh, much of a necessity that is when you talk about educating our children or providing health care uh, for the people in these rural, dis rural communities. Uh, we need rural broadband. I want to bring it home. That's amazing. And you were endorsed by former Congressman Ralph Abraham and former President Donald Trump. Have you talked to them since you won? And how, I mean, how did it feel kind of being endorsed by someone of that nature? Sure. Well, I have talked to both. And uh, Congressman Abraham is like family to us. He has and to Luke and myself since we moved back here from Denver and Luke became his chief of staff. Uh, so I'm excited that he signed on to continue to be a mentor for me. I can call on him at any time. He and Diane are family to us. And then it was quite the honor to talk to President Trump and have his endorsement as well. Perfect. Last question for you. What do you want to say to the people out there who voted for you and even those who did not vote for you? Absolutely. I'm excited to be a, represent, a representative for everyone in my district. Uh, I will work with anyone in Washington who will help me get results to bring back to the 5th District. I want to be a representative for all people. I am so humbled and honored uh, to do just that, and I'm ready to go to work. Congresswoman-elect Julia Letlow, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Stay with us as we have more news and weather on the way.